guys, today I wanted to come to you and talk about something that I've been thinking about for a while and that is just that it feels like I am failing. Like I'm just not doing as well on the keto diet as I know I should be and also as I feel I lead you to believe, you know? I wanted to come on here and talk about how I've been struggling and how I feel like I'm not really telling you guys the whole truth. And some of you can see it because the numbers just don't add up. You ask questions like, Autumn, how did you lose 13 pounds in June, but your July weigh-in is still up a pound? H how does that even add up? And the thing is, it's like, so imagine I must have had to gain 13 pounds before June in order to lose it in June and still be a pound up for July. You know, like it's just not adding up. And I'm showing you what I eat Wednesday, but I'm not showing you what I eat Monday, Tuesday, right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know, like, and I'm not outright lying. I'm not telling you, I'm not showing you anything on my what I eat Wednesday video that's not true, but I feel like I'm not telling the whole truth, you know, and that is just that for a large majority of the past season, really ever since my surgery, which was in January, I just haven't been doing the keto diet well. I haven't been keto consistently more than, I would say 25 days. And that was the cut down to KetoCon challenge. Like that's exactly why I did that. It's because I need to eat keto. Like I need to force myself to eat keto and I need to hold myself accountable. And so that's what I wanna to come to you today and talk about is a new challenge that I'm starting in August called the August Accountability Challenge. Uh, and so I was just talking to my mom, you know, over the past couple weeks and we were just talking about how we've just been struggling on the diet. Like it's just more difficult than it used right, to be. Right, I understand, I mean, that is so true. I began keto, uh, I believe it was October, 2017. So I went into it like a champ. You can force feed me anything that wasn't keto. And I was very successful on it. But uh, I believe it's uh, last year, whenever you and I went on vacation to Minneapolis, yep. and then we chose those days to go off plan. And boy, did we go off plan. We went off the deep end. Off did yeah. we? So you introduced me to the donuts at Thornton's. I'm sorry. Which is from <laughs> They're the like devil. these chocolate covered the long johns. <laughs> So that was my Saturday treat, my coffee and my donuts. And I'm saying like, okay, Monday through Friday, mm. I'm doing it. I'm doing the keto thing, mm. you know. But then on Saturday, I'm looking forward to like Saturday. Ooh, I get you to go to treat Florida yourself with, with a donut. A donut. <laughs> <laughs> Preach. <laughs> my goodness. So I'm just saying, so it's so trying to get back to where I was. It seems impossible. I it's like, how did I go 90 days right. with no treat when I can't even go five now, you know? Right. like. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I was doing so well. I mean, it was just not even a hesitant, like, no, I'm, this is not what I do. These don't even tip me anymore. Yeah. And then now it's like, they call my name. It's back to where First I was. middle and last. Man, uh-oh, don't do it, Christina. Oh, <laughs> but I will say though, over the past couple weeks, mm -hmm. we've gotten it back. You yes, know? and I did that, you know, for those who join me on that water decaf challenge, I did very successful. So I'm continuing that. So I'm saying I don't need diet soda. Those little small goals that she always just say, you know, you, you set your small goals and you achieve them. And I did, and I, <clears throat> I don't need those things. But here's the thing on that, you know, setting the small goals before I didn't even have to do that. Exactly. Before it was just That's what I'm so saying. Like. Okay, so here's what I struggled with. I was just like, why am I having to baby myself? Like, I'm stronger than this. Why am I having to like, just do five days, that's it. You know, but I was like, I shouldn't have to do that. But if, if you think about it, back to my four steps to success on the, in the keto diet video, the first week I was on keto, I literally had to trick myself into thinking I was at work, you know? No, like right. the first weekend, in order to get through the first weekend, I had to trick myself right. and I had to baby myself. And so maybe that's just where I am again. Right. You know, I maybe, I believe that you know, me as well. maybe it's just, I'm back to the point where I'm not as mentally strong as I need to be. So it's like, it's okay to give yourself those small goals right, exactly. and to congratulate yourself for achieving them, but like not with donuts, you know, like, and, and, and just use that momentum to get back on track. And we know I've been experimenting with fasting over the last couple mm -hmm. weeks. Like I really feel like I have my resolve back and it's so encouraging, yes. but you know, the problem is you can't eat horribly for four months and then exactly. eat well for two weeks I know. and then think you're all the way back. I know, we're high-fiving each other. Exactly. Yeah, we got I, it. I stuck to it for three days. And Woo! you know what? The scale's not, no, no. the scale knows yeah. I was 
off plan for you know the first half of the year so it's just I I've just been gaining weight so much and you know you can always gain weight so much more quickly than you can lose it yes the devil like I can gain 20 pounds in two weeks and then I can subsequently lose four pounds in two weeks you know and it's just I've been digging myself in such a deep hole right. that it's gonna take more than two weeks right. to get it back. You right. know, it's gonna take more than a month, to two months. Right. And look what I've done. I've just set myself so much further, further back. back. And, and just thinking, you know, how where we were and so strict in the beginning, if we would have just like, boom, and kept it moving, Stupid. just think. What we what, could be done. Exactly. I mean, oh my gosh, we'd be in maintenance. Yes. Exactly. So guys, that's what I'm saying. It is. It's okay to admit that you're struggling. I mean, that is just not, you're not a bad person. You're no. not a failure. You're not failing. You're not I know. And I have to, I just have to tell myself that. But like, when you know you should be doing better right. and you know how to do better. Right. So previously, before we were on the keto diet, it's just like, I don't know what to do. So I'm right. going to eat some donuts. Right. You know, exactly. like and nothing's working. Right. Nothing matters. It, there's no point. But when you find the keto diet and you find how much better you feel right. and you find that this is what helps you lose weight and live the type of life that you right. want to live. Like, not doing it is just that much worse. I know, it's like, and, and it's exactly because you've done it, you know how it's made you feel. And I mean, so you just, it, when she says the discipline and consistency, I mean, that sounds so simple, but that's really all it is. And you know what? And I envy people because that's, I really had to look inside and question myself because you know, I get comments all the time from people like, oh, now that, you know, now that I'm on keto, whenever I eat sweets, I feel horrible and I don't even like the taste of that stuff anymore. Like, lucky you. I know exactly. I love donuts. They're like, delicious. I love Doritos. <laughs> like, they don't make me feel oh. horrible. The only reason they make me feel horrible is because I can't stop when I start eating them right. and I feel like mentally guilty. Right. But they don't make my stomach hurt. No. They don't make me feel jittery. Like, no. that food doesn't do anything. They so they make me one. Exactly. There's no deterrent, you know? And, and then, so when I'm not mentally, like, you know, resolved to not do right. it, it's just so much more difficult not like, to, exactly. you know? So, like, but that's what we have to have. Right. The mental resolve. Right. And we have to have the accountability. Hence, yes. Yes. the Accountability August Challenge. I'm going to tell you some things that I'm going to be doing in August to get myself back on track. Like I said, I've been easing into it these past two weeks. Like I've been doing well, right. but th I can't stop there. I can only right. keep going, you know? Mm -hmm. So one of my struggles is my monthly weigh-ins. What you guys don't know, March, April, May, June, July, you know, I would do my weigh-in and then for the next two weeks after that, since I only weigh myself once a month, I would eat crazy for the next two weeks after that. And then the, the last two weeks of the month be like, I got to start gearing up for this weigh-in that I have to have, you know? So it's like weighing myself once a month no longer works, you know, because okay. I give myself too much leeway right. to eat horribly and only get right. back to that, you know, right. to shoot for that goal. So you guys, I darn, I only lost 0.1 pound. pound. Exactly. Oh. That's because I gained 12 pounds and then I lost 12.1 right. pounds right. in the last two weeks, right. you know? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a video. First of all, I'm going to be making a video every day in August, wow. even if it's a three minute video, a two minute video, just to tell you how I'm feeling and to check in mm -hmm. and to tell you that that I'm still being successful mm -hmm. and I'm going to weigh myself every day in August really? and I'm going to show every it to day, you right. every day. It is truly going to be accountability. Yeah. Unfortunately yeah. for me, it is truly going to be the thing that stops me from going to Thornton's and eating three donuts right. is because I know I got to put that number up tomorrow, right. you know, exactly. and, and, and that's just what I need right now. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. Right. And, and I get that. I mean, you have to get to do whatever puts you back on track. Yeah. And, so and you gotta fight. Work, like right. you have to fight for your health and for your habits and for your right. life. Right, like, exactly. I mean literally that is because you know the car I just noticed like the, the carbohydrates they don't they don't make me feel bad, but you know, I do like feel bloated. Bloated, definitely uh, bloated. Right, right yeah. exactly all that. So and you don't feel good. I, or well, you don't feel lean, you, know, you don't feel yeah, I mean you, you do feel, feel mental clarity. I mean mental clarity. That I've noticed that being on the ketogenic diet it gives you more mental clarity i mean that's true and that it's just weird just... what you will rationalize and give up for cake you know right. it's where it's like i don't need that clarity mm -hmm. i don't mind if i feel right. puffy right. like it's so good right. in the moment right. right i just i'm okay i know what i'm giving up you try to think past 
Uh, I've, situation been, I've been losing leader. that battle. Right. I've been living right, right in the I moment like, being like, trying. exactly. Yeah, I was like, this pizza is going to make me feel good <laughs> right now. I want it right now, yes, you know? You know? So, <laughs> but it's like, we, but we know that we have to do better and that we are going to do mm -hmm. better. And we really invite you right. to examine what you've been doing, right. you know? Like, have you been as strict or as consistent as you really mm -hmm. want, right. you know? Um, so those are really only my goals for August accountability. Mm -hmm. I'm going to post a video every day. I'm going to weigh myself every day. I am sticking to 20 total carbs oh, okay, and around 1500 calories okay. every day. That's all I'm even when I have my six days of meal prep okay. on the seventh day, mm -hmm. the same thing, the same macros. I can't go overboard, mm -hmm. you know, just because I don't have a meal prep planned. Exactly. I still know how to eat if I don't have a meal prep, right. you know, now I will give myself, I think there are two days coming up in the month where I have a special event planned okay. where I'm switching to net carbs. I'm not going off keto, you okay, know? Right. Normally it's like, oh, a special event's coming up. Oh, it's my birthday. Oh, mm -hmm. I already know. I'm already planning in my head. There's four times when I'm gonna have to eat right, off keto. Right. No, no, I don't have to. Even those events, I'm still keeping my mm -hmm. net carbs at 20 mm -hmm. and I'm still doing 1500 calories. Right. That's not a chance to overeat. Whether that means I gotta have a salad when I'm out or you know, I, I just gotta fast and drink water. That's all it is. Right. We can do this. You, yes, can live, can do this. you can live keto every single day of your life. Yes, and my accountability part, what I did need to do, I need to meal prep. Now, you know, I watch her meal preps. You know, I mean, it's so much easier if she does mm. my meal preps. I wonder, like, who can help you with that? I don't know. So that's what I need to do because, I mean, that makes all the difference in the world. If you have the food, that's what throws people off. I'm like, man, I got to just grab this. I didn't prepare myself, so let me just grab this bag of chips. Let me stop it and drive through and get mm -hmm. something like that. So it's, it's the accountability of preparation. Mm. I mean, so I think that that's what I need to do is just be more prepared. In the I words think. of our arch nemesis Scar from The Lion King, be, be prepared. Exactly. <laughs> be prepared. That's all you gotta do. He had a word. He was evil. Yes, right. But he had a word. <laughs> it's just food. It's, it's just, just food. it's just a brownie. Mm -hmm. It's just it's not going to save your life. Exactly. It is not going to be the thing that gives you the most joy and pleasure you've ever had. Right. Just walk away. Right. Just That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it is. It is just one of those things. It's like, just, you know, if you eat that, that you're going to... It's not in alignment life. with your goals. And then one thing about what you have said, you know, yes, you all are having cake and ice cream today. Do I like cake and ice cream? Yes. Do I want cake and ice cream? Yes. Is it going to kill me if I don't have this cake and ice cream today? No. no. So I'm not going to have cake and ice cream because I have goals. No, so, I got goals, yo, everybody. I got goals. Exactly. So, so you know. it's a lot more of a mental battle it than is. people realize, you know, and, but, but we have the tools and we have the yes, strength to overcome that battle every single day. Right. We do. And we just need to do that. Yes. So we just, like I said, just don't be discouraged. You know, and just like I say, just get right back there. We're we're there. We're That's, both there. Yeah, like I'm I'm locked in now. But you know, and I just wanted to come on here and just be honest. Okay. You know, like don't think that like people that are making these videos ain't struggling. You know, mm -hmm. oh they're so strong, they're so perfect. No, like the keto diet or losing weight and and when you're a food addict it's hard right it's just hard it to not overeat difficult. all day every day yes. you know but you can do it that's all we wanted to come here and tell you on today yes and i need to be more actually more accountable on my instagram game you know oh my gosh everybody go follow well, this old lady see, that's what i'm saying my watch mom keto is i mean exactly. i need maybe, maybe you can things. do like an instagram challenge like i'm over here on youtube right. you know post something on instagram right every because, day right exactly to be hoping because you're watching mom do nothing. Mom ain't exactly. doing nothing. All Watch mom post no, one, one pig and then nothing and else the rest like, of the yes. time. So, you know, just, I guess, just to be more engaged. Yes. How about that? There you go. Okay, guys. So, like, thanks so much for yes, spending some time you. with us hearing about our struggles. Yes. But what I want to know is, have you been struggling? Yes, How yes. are you feeling? What steps can you take in August to be accountable? Like I said, I'm going to be releasing a video every day to show you guys what I'm doing. Comment down below. Like, how have you been doing? What are some things you can do in August every single day to keep yourself accountable? Yes, and then I'm going to be doing my meal prep. And I'm just going to be, like I said, make preparations and be hold, hold myself more accountable. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hold you accountable too. It's okay. Get a buddy, okay? Yeah, Use the is, community. Oh, that is. That, I mean, I'm that your is, buddy, man. Man, yes, I'm your pal. Too. I know, right? Okay, is that it? Yes, that okay. is it. Okay, we're feeling good. Yeah. We're back on track in August. We want Woo! you to get on track in August. Ow! You yeah. pumped up everybody! Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. okay, we're, we're back. gone. We're, we're back. back. Exactly, we're gone. But like, thanks so much, and yeah. we'll see you in August.
Um, can you scoot a little bit more toward me? Mm -hmm. Why are you scooting a little bit toward me? I like Ryan, so... <laughs> Excuse me. The, the fuck is that thing on your face? I know, that's why I'm, that's why I can't... I can't... I can't. <laughs>